Thanks for staying with us. Now, on October 28th, International Animation Day recognizes the artists, scientists, techni um, technicians behind animated art. It also, um, it's also a day to celebrate all aspects of animation. When artists manipulate drawings to appear as moving parts, they are creating animation. This art form has been used for more than 100 years to create cartoons and other types of entertainment. Through the years, artists and te technicians have developed different kinds of animation. And this is one day that is worth celebrating because there's nobody on this planet Earth right that would not that say that cartoons. cartoons have really impacted their lives god right? bless god bless walt disney yes walt disney um, um who else was it so i've forgotten all the other names that used to but walt disney is something that would stick in anybody's mind because we had the roger rabbits we had the tom and jerry's and everything all of them now bringing it into clubhouse. our present day parents encourage your kids about coding if mm. you find any child that has an interest in coding Teach them, let them learn it, because animators are real money makers. If they get a chance to go abroad, we, we don't do too many animated productions here, although we do a few adverts. But if a child knows how to, let me give you a classic example. Obi Kubana, billionaire, you know he's a rich man's world. His first son, even though he's so academically sound, he's in your kid's school, he loves to draw. And apparently some people are already paying attention to him from America because the characters he's come up with, they're thinking, oh, we could actually create a show around this. The Marvel Studios started with cartoons, all the Wakanda forever, mm -hmm. uh, Superman, Wonder Woman. Um, what's that thing called? The paper thing? Yeah. The, the, the one he scribbles on the paper. Yeah. Yes. This is how all these people started. And you can imagine the billions and of me, dollars yeah. that they're earning now Absolutely. based on ideas that came Absolutely. 100 years ago. Absolutely. So you I, I, mean, learn coding. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love cartoons. I, I watched a recent movie like I think about three weeks ago. Most times when I go on, on Netflix, Netflix or all the streaming apps, I just try to find soft things to watch. Mm -hmm. I watched one cartoon it was really nice. She was an artist, you know, mm -hmm. he was an artist. Well, I think all I black saw the... all black um, characters. Mm -hmm. Very lovely. I love the story I keep seeing it and people are all really as in grown I'll men are saying that yes, it's really it's a, good. Because it's something an adult enacted movie. or something yeah, enacted. It's an adult movie actually. Yes, it's not yes, for children, but yes. it's so good. Uh, you know, yeah. I really enjoy it. I'm going to watch it. I mean, the scenes, you know, the very, the and love the, scenes. The driver of yesterday <laughs> that said the perfume is good for such. <laughs> Bast. All right, so what did you find for us in the news? <laughs> well, let us rejoice with Elon Musk yet again. He has finally put the sale through with Twitter with all the back and forth that they had. He's finally acquired it, and he says he's going to use it to help humanity. I just want to ask, Elon, how is Twitter going to help us with flooding? <laughs> is it that we're going to be able to communicate our issues faster? I don't understand that angle, but I want to see it. And because of Nostradamus's predictions, I'm very wary of people that try to acquire so much wealth, mm -hmm. right? Because they say, you know, the Antichrist is going to come. I don't know. But the way you're going with this conversation, just uh, I've said the one. I've congratulated him. But I was going to say that this Twitter <laughs> acquisition is just been so. From in my head, I yeah. thought he had bought it too. No, so when I now saw this again forth. today, I'm now wondering, okay. Mm -hmm. um, but there was a story that Norma was supposed to take. I want to quickly, just quickly um, mention this. Yes. And this was no Norma's story, right? Um, it says, um, Donald Trump says, now Twitter is in sane hands. Mm. <laughs> right? So as the former president has hailed the sale of Twitter to the tech billionaire Elon Musk, saying that we, um, he was pleased that the platform was now in sane hands. Mm. Um, so, I mean, I'm happy that um, Twitter is now in sane hands and will no longer be run by radical left lunatics and mm. maniacs that truly hate our country, Look Trump said on his social media platform. <laughs> now, wow. Look Donald who's Trump. talking about maniacs and lunatics. <laughs> Donald Don't Trump, me. I held thee. I really right. held thee. But I, I just had to bring that story because, <laughs> um, hey, Twitter has been a bit of like, you know, there's been a back and forth, especially with some of the tweets. But I, I get the With the Nigerian government, you didn't even mention when Nigerian you know, government said they don't want to it. No, they I'm want saying to that. No, so I'm saying that um, mm. when, when Donald Trump is saying, is finally in sane hands, I'm now wondering, okay, are you trying to say that you're going to be now giving the free reign to just tweet whatever it is you, you know, like? It there takes crazy be, to recognize crazy. No, no, no. But there will still be the, the Twitter community, there will still be those laws guiding what you post. So do not think that because because maybe someone in your corner has the 
Platform, platform now, that you can now come out and whatever start using that's for what hate crimes. Or, yeah, like you what we still had cannot yesterday. use it because there are rules guiding those mm -hmm, platforms, mm -hmm. and it cannot. If not, everybody would just, you know what, shut down it, the app and just it. leave it. To All right, so my story is just to follow up from what I um, talked about yesterday. Mm. Um, that's our president, Muhammad Buhari, um, saying that we should all be vigilant and we should be calm. This is coming off of the back of the travel, travel advisory that the UK and the US government gave and about, government. yes, and uh, about, uh, what's it called, um, the security alert that was um, raised. Mm -hmm. um, so he was saying that we should be calm. He says safety remains. So now there are two key words I want to, or two lines I want to just bring out. And I'm wondering, he says safety remains our highest priority mm -hmm. as the government. So I'm wondering if Since safety. When? So wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if safety was priority, and this is what we're saying, yeah. like this is the kind of insecurity that we are facing. If it was not a priority, where would we? Where be? would we be? Like if this is what you call, if this is what you call a priority, and, and things are, are just going are. underneath your. You know, so that's one. And he says mm. security agents are proactive. Mm. Um, sorry, proactively rooting out threats to um, citizens. And I'm wondering, proactively rooting out. Do you know what being proactive means? I think he's just, he just likes grammar. Because every time, he, almost every time he makes a statement, I will put allegedly there whether or not it fits into it just so we don't get sued. Every time he makes a statement, he's always contradicting himself. Because his actions mm. don't show what he claims mm. in his statements. How can you say that uh, security or whatever, anything that has security and Nigeria together in a sentence? <laughs> there are no five answers. Well, I was going to say that, though. I mean, which he rightly claims that, unfortunately, terror is not, a re is, is not, not unique to Nigeria. Yes. Yes. Terror is, is a reality all over the world. So, yes. yes, I get that part. But you see, for me, Seth, this one that we are talking about, um, the, the threats and all of that, mm -hmm. I don't even know to what extent now. Mm -hmm. Let's hope that whatever it is, this proactivity that he said his security agents are proactively fishing out the, mm. the, the what's it called? Would the actually threat. have an effect. Let's, is, let's pray that it's effective because mm. I don't know where we'll be. Because you remember we used effective. to, there was a time when bombs were going off all over Nigeria. Mm. I hope that never happens again. I hope not. So please, being an ex-military person, you should understand a bit of what intelligence is that you need to employ. Mm. to prevent these things from happening. I Absolutely. want to live to see my 50th next year, Absolutely. President Buhari. Okay, so we'll take a break now. When we come back from the break, we will be discussing the CBN rebranding of our Naira notes. <laughs> Why now? That's the question. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back.